well, sitting around my table here in Westminster. We are joined uh, by our expert panel who are very kindly agreed to be with us over the next hour or so. Um, and well, it's about an hour and 20 minutes, we think. Dr Gerard Lyons, a Senior Fellow at Policy Exchange, Chief Economic Strategist at NetWealth. He was Chief Economic Advisor to Boris Johnson during his second term as Mayor of London and had a couple of meetings with Liz Truss before she became Prime Minister. Uh, the last one, though, the last time he met her was, I think, on the day she became Prime Minister. He hasn't advised her uh, since that day. Um, good afternoon to you all. Well, let me turn to Dr Gerard Lyons. Um, Carl flags up this point about the corporation tax rises. Um, that The Telegraph this morning says that given the better picture, worse than a year ago, but better than it was in, um, in the autumn, that that's self-flagellation going ahead with those corporation tax rises. Do, do you think that's right or do you think this is necessary? Well, I think in terms of corporation, it's not just the corporation tax. It's also the fact that the allowances are being withdrawn, in particular, the very successful super deduction. So it's the combination of the tax increases and the allowances being withdrawn that are hitting business competitiveness very hard. So if you can avoid that, ideally you should. Now, it's quite clear that the Chancellor is not going to reverse the corporation tax increase. He would argue that will cost 11 to £12 billion pounds this year. Instead, I th would expect him to announce a change in terms of something to replace the super deduction, maybe full expensing. And that's very good because it provides it certainty, com removes complexity, comes out of taxable profits and at the time it's incurred. So the point is okay. that the growth agenda needs to be given the boost in the budget today. So we need some growth orientated measures. They need to be credible, affordable and non-inflationary. So the two main areas are going to be fo that he will focus on will be one on the investment side, because UK investment has been low for some time. He's not unfortunately going to reverse corporation tax increase, but he'll have to introduce some tax allowances to help the business sector, particularly small as well as big firms. And then the second area is the whole labour force supply. By taking into account all the issues you've talked about in terms of child care and others, the argument is that this would improve labour supply. That will make the OBR, who provide the independent forecast, more optimistic about the future growth outlook. Therefore, the OBR will say that the Chancellor has more room for fiscal manoeuvre. So the combination of what Carl touched on earlier, that the economic growth and fiscal numbers have been better in the last few months, plus hopefully from the Chancellor's perspective that the OBR will be saying that the growth outlook in the future is not too bad, will give him more room for manoeuvre to not only announce some measures today, but maybe leave something there to hope for next year in terms of further measures to help the economy. We're hurtling towards the end of the programme. Dr Gerard Lyons, I'd just like your thoughts on what you heard in the budget. Yeah, um, I thought it was very constructive, lots of positive measures. From a financial markets perspective, it will probably get a thumbs up because it did focus on stability. The growth and the big fiscal numbers seem to be in the right direction. Obviously, the devil is in the detail. The positive, in my mind, was the offer in terms of the whole supply side linked to the financial system. When we think about it, and Carl touched on this earlier, there's li limited room for fiscal manoeuvre. Despite the positive message today, taxes are still high, debt levels are still high. So if growth disappoints, those numbers will be thrown out of kilter. So there's little room for fiscal manoeuvre. The Bank of England doesn't have any room for monetary policy manoeuvre. So therefore, the Chancellor has to focus on the supply side. <clears throat> Excuse me. The positive was on the full expensing. The disappointing thing is that it's only three years. It suggests fiddling, not right. strategy. And the big positive, the work Gerard. capability assessment for disabled people. So some positive measures, but okay. maybe far too many things to get a full handle on Forgive how they work out. Forgive me for interrupting Dr Gerard Lyons, Zoe Billingham, Carl Emerson, Darshini David, of course. Thank you all very much.